So we're going to do this exhibit over here called Water Cannon, um, and it has to do with something called the Coriolis Effect. Some of you might have heard of that, might not have, but we're going to explain this, and I'll tell you what this relates to in a couple of minutes. So there's water shooting out this way, and there's water from the center, and it's coming out and it's shooting backwards toward the center. Okay, does that make sense? So if I put my fingers over these holes right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my fingers over here, and I'm going to turn this whole thing, and what I want you to do, if you've never done this before, is tell me, how do you think this water is going to move? Is it going to move this way? Is it going to move the way that I'm turning it? Is it going to move the opposite way I'm turning it? Is it going to bend this way, bend that way? Is it going to like shoot into my face? What do you think it's going to do? So, it's going to bend the opposite way you're turning it. going to bend the opposite way. Anybody else? It's going to bend the opposite way from where I'm turning it. So if I turn it this way, the water is going to bend that way. Did you see it? So it's going backwards from the way I turned it, right? Did you see it? So now the question is the water shooting out towards the center. The water shooting out towards the center, which way do you think that's going to go? Is that going to go, if I turn it clockwise, will it go behind it and forward of it or up or down? Or Anybody have an idea? I think it would bend behind it, right? So you think it's going to bend behind it? The What's opposite, that? like the you think, it's gonna, you think it's going to go the opposite? Anybody else? Opposite, so we have the opposite. We have the, you're pretty much saying the opposite too, behind it. So watch this, I'm gonna turn it clockwise. Which way is it turning? It's going ahead of it, it's right. This really kind of baffles a lot of people. So it's going ahead of the direction of the spin. And the faster I spin it, the more this wants to go ahead of it. Isn't that pretty cool? So the stuff that's shooting out from the center lags behind, and the faster I turn it, the more it lags behind, but the ones that's shooting inward, the, the more, the faster I turn it, the more it bends in front of it. There. What I need is I need two volunteers for the center over here. Hey, Brian, you want to come in the center? <laughs> Wait, we need volunteers Next. here. You want to volunteer? He didn't volunteer, I just grabbed him. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Nick. Nick, okay. So Nick and Brian, why don't you guys come in here? I'm going to send the, the, the uh, golf ball I'm going to do the golf ball right down here, and I'm going to point it right at Nick. And you saw what happened when I pointed pretty accurately now. It went right down this line right there, right? Yeah. But this time what we're going to do, and actually, when you talk to your neighbor about this, I'm going to do it, but you're going to walk again, okay? And when I do this, before I do it, which way do you think this ball is going to go? Is it going to go right at Nick? Is it going to go behind Nick or in front of Nick? What do you guys think? Behind. Behind. Front. No, it's going to yeah, go Think about it. Right. Talk to your neighbor. Just come up with an idea. Okay, everybody have an idea? Sounds like you might have an idea. Okay, here we go. Pointing right at him. Oh, you're on my sights. A little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Here we go. And where'd it go? Behind him. So you guys on the on the edges are cranking compared to Brian, okay? So when I shoot my thing over here, you guys are traveling so fast that this thing, when this thing comes out over here, it only has a velocity. It has a velocity going down like that. And it only has the velocity component of just a little bit going that way. Now, if I shoot Brian, if I shoot Brian over here, what do you guys think is gonna happen when I shoot Brian? It's gonna go before. Why would it go before him? Because we're we're moving forward and he's staying in one place, he's gonna bend. Or not bend. He'll stay straight, but we're moving. That's right. So what can you guys tell me about the velocity of you guys going that way? versus Brian. A whole lot more, and when this ball comes out of here, it's going to have that much more velocity going this way. So not only is it going this way, it it's also has a component going that way, so when it goes, it's going to have a uh, uh, trajectory, hopefully let's see. I'm not even going to tell the answer. You guys ready to go? Go. Let's go a little faster. <laughs> get ready? Point it right at him. Here we go. <laughs> you guys are going so fast, where did it end up going? <laughs> It ended up going like right over here. If you're farther towards the equator and you're shooting towards the North Pole, it would go forward of the target. And if you're shooting south, it went behind the target. Does that make sense? Just like over here. So it actually plays a big role in military um, aspects. And if you guys, if Bryant really hated Nick and he lived at the North Pole and uh, Nick lived at the equator, if he was going to shoot a missile at him, have you guys ever heard of something called a guidance system? Guidance systems are put in these missiles to compensate for this thing called the Coriolis effect. So if you just shot straight at them, you're going to miss them. You have to have put these really sophisticated pieces of computer equipment 
and gyroscopes to make sure these things go the way you want them to go. But the other thing is, is that when storms um, come up um, that are carrying a lot of water vapor, and you might have seen this on TV, if the storm is going to come up, say, and build up in the equator and start heading north, or if a storm happens in the north and goes south, you guys ever see on TV those really big hurricanes? What does hurricanes look like? These big spiral systems, because even though these things are moving relatively slow um, overall, these little particles are bent by the turning of the earth, and it makes these huge, hundreds and hundred mile wet wide systems that actually spin around because of the Coriolis effect. So the Coriolis effect actually plays a big role in weather systems, it plays a big role in military, and um, I think that's it for now. I hope that helps.